Thrusters on standby. Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain. Have you ever wanted to take a vacation in outer space and pictured yourself laying on a lounge chair whilst at the same time gazing at Earth from above? This and much more could become one of the most fantastic attractions and milestones of humanity soon. Join us on today's topic, all about the first planned space hotel completely exposed to outer space. Discovery of the wondrous possibilities of space has always been the stuff of legends that led humanity in its relentless strive to break the shackles of their earthly existence. It has attempted to do this by coming up with elaborate and mind-boggling new inventions. A Californian company revealed an extraordinary vision to launch the very first hotel in space within a decade. The name? Voyager Station. Space, the final frontier. Who has not ever heard these famous first few words as part of a Star Trek intro theme? Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Technology is the key. Scientists and theorists have labored strenuously and tirelessly throughout the years to pop Pandora's box to bring humanity closer to that reality of Star Trek and, by extension, Voyager Station. The mastermind behind this idea is California's Gateway Foundation, Orbital Assembly Cooperation, OAC in short. The intent is to launch Voyager Station by 2027. Several countries have been sending spacecrafts into space as part of various projects, focusing primarily on celestial bodies like asteroids, planets, and other space phenomena. But launching a hotel into space, that's unheard of and has never been tried before. OAC is a newcomer amongst construction companies and is led by a former pilot, John Blinkow. Suppose this hotel project turns out to be a success. In that case, one can only imagine the endless possibilities at the fingertips of those who are willing to grasp them and the chain reaction that it will have throughout the entertainment and hospitality sectors. It is a universal truth that great hardship or calamity spurs the notion of thinking outside the box. In 2019, OAC announced and revealed its planned space hotel, modeled closely to a massive floating cruise ship in Earth's orbit. The superstructure would be shaped like a wheel, consisting of 24 modules connected by elevator shafts resembling the spokes of said wheel. The station is scheduled to be completed and fully functional by 2027. In a recent interview hosted by CNN Travel, Blinkow mentioned that construction delays were incurred due to the pandemic, but mentioned that work will resume at full speed soon. According to him, the ushering of a new golden age of space accommodation is just around the corner. How would a space tourist feel like being on such a station? How would they feel? The station would first have to produce artificial gravity, so it is designed like a wheel. The rotation of that wheel would then apply centrifugal forces, which generates gravity. The station would also control its rotation rate, thus regulating how much gravity exerted to anything on it. It's kind of tragic irony with gravity. Humanity worked hard to leave gravity behind on Earth. Still, it cannot escape its very own nature and being dependent on it for life support. Based on the creator's expectations, the station will try to appeal and attract visitors for business and pleasure purposes, and provide a one-of-a-kind sensational experience. A visiting tourist could run into busy space agency crews from different countries conducting their research and jobs whilst going about their own business. Accommodations would be provided by the Habitation Ring. The ring will contain pressurized and interconnected modules that can be customized to fit a visitor's needs. Some might accommodate luxury private homes or conventional hotels. In contrast, others would be outfitted to function like malls and entertainment districts. Unique government and training facilities could also be arranged if the need were to arise. In all, the modules offer a tremendous amount of flexibility for customization. Imagine waking up in a luxurious hotel room, greeted by the rising earth and shadowy reflection of the moon in the distance then grabbing a bite to eat in one of the gourmet restaurants, going for a bit of shopping, having a few cocktails at the artificially created beach bar, and then hopping over to catch a musical, concert, or movie. A hotel in space is trying to accomplish and provide the amenities necessary for sustained operations and entertainment all in one. 
expenses for a trip are not negligible, and to some, an outright barrier to participate in this luxury at $25 million. Dealing with staggering costs is something that every company and organization alike would have to come to strategic terms with. Their future competitive viability would be dependent on whether they offer this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to the wealthy only or to the masses. OAC has been busy trumpeting support in the long run and obtaining a mix of investors to ensure that the whole endeavor is a grand success. Success would be defined by the existence of an orbital space hotel. But why a hotel? The original design illustrations by OAC's senior architect Tim Alator had their origins in the space flick A Space Odyssey. Your destination, your nationality, and your full name. Moon, American, Floyd. They would are. Thank you. You are cleared through voice print identification. He shared with CNN Travel that many of the hotel's aesthetics were a direct inspiration from that movie. Tim jokingly mentions that the film is also a blueprint of what not to do. In the movie, Stanley Kubrick comes up with a spotless but still alien-style environment on the station, highlighting the division between technology and humanity. This, however, is in opposition to Tim and Co.'s outlook for their station as they intend to harmonize technology and society together by bringing a slice of Earth and familiarity onto the station. In other words, being on a space station does not have to be akin to living in hell with dark and dank corridors, disgusting food, hazards at every corner, and death by decompression. Such things are best left for the movies. The fuel for all of this is one thing, space tourism and creating the new Disney World, except in space. It's such a hot topic in certain circles that many larger companies and individuals have taken notice, such as Virgin Galactic or the billionaire Elon Musk's SpaceX. SpaceX has stirred up some attention when it pioneered a drive towards Mars. It revealed its desire to create a long-distance transport craft suitable to sustain life for an extended period. It would make a lot of sense for OAC and SpaceX to contemplate a partnership. Both could help each other in breaching the barriers together that currently hold them down separately. Neither party has fully embraced such a future, but is not ruling it out if circumstances change. Speaking of transport crafts, only one way to get to the station is via a rocket. The expected price offered by Virgin Galactic is to be $250,000 per one-way trip. All future planned visits by those lucky enough in public would have to make reservations to be part of a luxurious and interstellar experience. The gulf between fiction and reality has narrowed throughout history. A trip to outer space is no longer denied to ordinary citizens and limited to astronauts. If it ever sees the light, this space hotel might become a monument and a symbol of humanity's ingenuity and tenacity to overcome its limitations. Thank you for watching. Comment on the Space Hotel below and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.